Nier is a game that's gonna give you the feels. It's so good, it hurts. Strange companions travel strange lands. Yoko Taro is playing with what an interactive medium can be capable of doing. My name is Ray Chase and I play the protagonist as an adult in Nier Replicant. He's got a really cool design, a really great voice, and he has this sort of sardonic sense of humor and this casual way of speaking, but he also has uh, a very serious attitude too. Zach Aguilar plays the younger version of my character in this game, and it's so, so cool to share a role with that dude. Surprisingly, we were instructed not to model our performances off of each other. In the Japanese version, it's also played by two different characters, and the voices don't sound all that similar. The protagonist goes through a lot of changes through that five-year gap. My name is Zach Aguilar, and I play the young protagonist in Near Replicant. He sets out on this entire journey, battling a bunch of shades, and he teams up with Vice and Kaine. Then in the young protagonist's mind, he's doing this solely to save his sister. Nier has such unique combat and great characters. To be a new addition to this cast, it's really a dream come true. A lot of the actors that are a part of the game, I had looked up to them growing up. My name is Liam O'Brien and I play the floating tome Grimoire Vice in Nier Replicant. I think that Vice represents fantasy and role-playing tropes of the past. He is an arcane, ancient-sounding ball of magic. And everything else about the game and the characters chips away at that. So he's sort of like the RPG straight man for all the other characters to be juxtaposed against. I really loved the banter back and forth between Vice and Kaine. Kaine is also played by one of my best friends in the world, and she was a good friend back then and is even more so now. Hi, my name is Laura Bailey, and I play Kaine in Near Replicant. I always love hearing Liam in my ear because he's always so surprising. It's fun to play off of. Kaine has so many different aspects of her personality, and every scene you get to kind of unlock a new part of that. She's just so quick and clever, and the things that come out of her mouth are, are shocking, but that's what makes it wonderful when you get the barriers broken down and you get the intimate soft moments with her, the, the payoff on that is so much more. I'm Julianne Taylor and I play Emile in Near Replicant. It's always great when Emile comes back. It's kind of like being reunited with an old friend. The fun I had recording Emile was with the shop song, every day's a sale, every sale's a win. Like people, you cannot get it out of your head. Even now you probably won't be able to get it out of your head just because I did one line when he takes off his blindfold and he sees for the first time and he sees near for the first time. I love that he says, you look just like I thought you would. You look really cool. It's, it's a trip to go back and listen to what we did in 2009. Everybody's piece just comes together like a big, lovely orchestra. My name is Eden Regal and I play the twins, Devola and Popola in Near Replicant. Devola and Popola are like two sides of the same coin. They love each other, um, but they're so very different. Devola performs at a bar and she loves to drink. Popola is the younger sister. She's a librarian, she's more bookish, she's more soft-spoken. Because of COVID-19, we were all in our own homes, sometimes closets, I have got a booth. But despite being far apart, the game sort of takes us actors along with it. And I know that if I had so much fun going back into the characters that I played, I just cannot wait to see what the other actors did. I think a lot of people play video games to escape, and this game does not allow you to escape from the sorts of existential dread that these characters face at all times. Nothing about the game or the story feels typical, not the character, not the world itself. To go back to this role that I did when I was 10 years younger and then see how I approach it now is fascinating. In all the conventions that I've been to, there's not been one that's gone by that I haven't had a plethora of fans come up with a near game and ask me to sign something as Kaine. And I think that speaks volumes to what an impact it's had. 
It's not gonna feel real until it's released and the, the physical copy is in my hands. I loved revisiting the, these roles. I loved hearing the material we'd done originally with a little bit of space. And I loved just going even more in depth with these roles. It's incredibly emotional. It's heartbreaking. And I would say you have to experience it 